started tonight. I want to welcome everybody that's came out at this time. Please stand. We'll say the pledge, the flag, and leave the hats, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now the I W O A pledge to strive for the clarity of water, the clarity of air, and the wise stewardship of the land and its resources, to know the beauty and understanding of nature and the value of wildlife, woodland, and open space, to the preservation of this area, to the ancient I place myself as a member of the Underground League of America. The board of directors, please. The Wolbach's directors meeting was called to order by Benny Ward 412 18 at 7 p.m. Seven members attended the board meeting. Ned reported we have 108 members, 13 of which are new. Ned presented a treasurer's report. We have $7,850.38 in the regular account and $2,388.98 in the gaming account for a total of $10,239.36 in the two accounts. Ned reported that the Krasius made a profit of $537.37. Shoots haven't been going too well. There will be a tree planting at the Salamone Reservoir on April the 21st from 10 a.m. through noon, which will be our Earth Day project if you want to come out and help with the project. I'm always supposed to meet out there. All that go there. Okay. You said where you're supposed to meet? I believe uh, Lost Bridge West. Yep. Okay. The board authorized the purchasing of six gallons of chemicals for the pond. The club hosted a hunter safety class on April the 14th, which we provided the food for the day. And we spent a lot of time discussing the 1812 project again this year. Our booth will be improved this year. Gary Hunter, Donus, uh, Will Donus, Will Donut donate us some barn site. A motion to adjourn was made by Ned, second by Tim. Motion carried when adjourned at 8 30 p.m. Does anybody have any questions on that before we get started? If not, uh, before we start in tonight, uh, one of our faithful Board members, the vice president, is great. With regret, I'm writing to inform you of my decision to resign as my position. The board, <coughs> Wabash Isaac Walton, effective immediately. Uh, my commitments have been too great for me to be able to fulfill the requirements of my position, and I feel it's best for me to make room for someone. Uh, with the time energy to do, donate to this job. It has been a pleasure being a part of the Wabash chapter. I am so proud of all we have accomplished in the past three years. I have no doubt the board will continue their success in the future. We are going to participate. I know it's August sounds like a long way away, but uh, it'll be here before we know it. But in August, uh, we had to do it as of this week, they're having Wabash down at the Paradise Springs have what they have called as a chair affair, uh, where they people decorate chairs, they sell them and everything. But they was looking for uh, food vendors, so we had to get our papers in this week, 
So the board decided, okay, we're going to take, uh, set up a tent and we're going to sell our baked potato and our sputters, which was french fries, during the chair fair because they was looking for food vendors. They only had like two food vendors at the present time. So we jumped the boards. Hopefully we can raise a little bit of money for that. Uh, that'll be, I think it's from nine to nine to three that day. So it's going to be just a short time, but we'll give you more information until it gets closer. But just want to let everybody know that uh, the Isaac Walton, some, uh, our chapter will be participating in a food booth down there this year. So, uh, if you got your emails, uh, we uh, went through some, looked at all of our boats parked out here, and made sure those boats was registered to somebody. Uh, we came up with five boats that we do not know who belong to. So we sent out another email. We still have our fellow officer tonight here with us. If he might want to say a few words before. We got some faces that haven't been here for a while. If you'd like to say a few words, Bill. Uh, sure. Um, well, thank you for hosting the uh, Hunter Ed class course. Obviously, we had a pretty good turnout. Uh, I think they enjoyed it a lot. So, uh, I think we had 32 foot through somewhere around there. Um, so, Gary's here. You know, he's one of our uh, core instructors. Him and his wife are the coordinators for Wabash County. They do an excellent job. Um, you know, if somebody's interested, wants to instruct you, I know you guys do a lot here too, but if that's something that you uh, have a desire to, of course, reach out to me or reach out to Gary or Bobby and they'll get you the information on them doing that. So uh, we appreciate that. And uh, yeah, if you guys got any questions for me, I'll be hanging around and eat some good fish, hopefully. So uh, let me know. Don't forget, uh, you haven't bought your hunting and fishing license for the year. Uh, this is a new year. Make sure you get out there and get them purchased. Don't want to get caught without your your new hot and fish devices. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> uh, one thing too, I guess, uh, made with my, I didn't know, we have the combination hunt fish license. So if you buy the $17 license just for fish, and then later on you buy the $17 just for the hunt, there. you're paying more money than if you just pay the $25 and get both of them together. And the, we, as a state, get more money back from the feds because that reaches a certain level. Uh, it meets more requirements, I guess, on them. So if we spend $25 on that license, we actually get like $47 back from the federal government to help fund our Hunter Ed program and the other things that we do uh, in the state. So it doesn't go in our pockets or anything like that. It goes to help with the uh, teaching and different things like that. So. Um, if you're thinking about buying a fishing license and you want to make an $8 donation, you can pay the $25 and get the hunt and then you cover the boat and then that, that helps the sportsman on that side as well. So just something to throw out there. Yes, sir. I got maybe a student question. All right. Well, I answer those two. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have a hunting license to hunt my ground. No. So we get this. John might be doing this, but I always, uh, guys on the property when they're out hunting mushrooms, I always ask them for their mushroom hunting license, but nobody's ever produced one yet. And then I, I ask them if they need a warning because they're hunting on the <laughs> property. 